it's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. Today I am back with more Mirrorverse toys. These are a Disney Pixar mashup toy from a mobile game. The toys are made by McFarlane Toys, who makes amazing action figures that are usually fairly well articulated, so I'm quite excited to check these out. I did already open Sully, and I'll put a link to that in the description below so you guys can check that out. Also, I will be probably obtaining all of them, so if you don't want to miss it, and if you enjoy this video and this type of content, please do click that red subscribe button down below. Totally free for you to do and really helps us out. Plus, you won't miss when we post the rest of the Mirrorverse toys. So, okay. Today I have Mickey and Goofy. Unfortunately, I haven't seen a Donald. I don't really like Donald Duck very much, so I'm okay with this, but it was a little strange that we didn't have the whole trio in here. So I don't know, but I thought this would be a good video to do together as the Mickey and the Goofy since they're pals and hang out a lot. Now these are for ages four and up. Here's the Mickey up close in his packaging. This is actually a little trading card that's in here and it has his stats and things on it and I'll show you that once I get it open. Here's some of the other characters we can get. I do have to obtain Belle. There should be a Buzz Lightyear one as well, which of course I'm going to be needing. So yeah. So here's the other one. This is Goofy. Here's his card again up close. And the rest of the packaging. I think it's the same four on the back that it shows to you, which is interesting. So, all right, guys, let's get them open, shall we? So on the back, we've got a little tab that comes over the bottom of it, but I think we should still be able to just rip it off from the plastic. So I'm going to remove the plastic from the cardboard here. Yep, cool. And so I can just bend it back. This top part has like a portal type thing in it, which is really cool. And then I can get this whole plastic piece out and that has Mickey in it. And then I can take out this inner piece. Now make sure you don't forget this, you guys, because this has your trading card. So it looks like he's got 7 out of 10 for the sword, shield, target, the sword, shield, and the target, and then the heart is 9 out of 10. His bio says, as a boundless dreamer with eternal optimism, Mickey makes those around him feel like anything is possible. While many in the Mirrorverse seek to harness stellar magic, Mickey has already mastered it, calling upon its potent forces to protect those brave enough to fight alongside him. Da -na -na -na. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to get the rest of him out and we're going to take this one apart as well. We got the portal behind him. We can take this whole hunk out and then do not forget his card, which is actually taped to this piece, which I don't like, but it didn't rip it. So that's okay. He's got seven out of 10 on the sword, two out of 10 on the shield, eight out of 10 on the scope piece and four out of ten on the heart it says for his bio disaster seems to follow goofy everywhere but he either doesn't mind or doesn't notice he's so happy-go-lucky that his luck has been amplified so it doesn't matter whether he uses preci a precision weapon or just tosses something over his shoulder he always seems to hit his mark gosh gar gosh i can't make his sound i'm sorry you guys anyway i'm gonna show you these cards up close super cool very shiny glossy type of cards and then i did read the bios to you because they're really hard to see on the camera sorry and then uh there's all their stats so cool 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 got those cards and we're gonna get the figures out it looks like mickey is somehow in the front and back of this packaging so we're gonna see how this goes Okay, well, I don't know if that was the most efficient method, but I can't believe he stands like that. That's awesome. Okay. Goofy has a boomerang, so there's that. I feel like there's going to be a lot of funny parts with that. Okay, got everything open. They do both stand on their own, which is a really nice thing to notice in the beginning. I don't have any idea what this is. I'm guessing some kind of power thing. Uh, maybe a potion bottle. I mean, I don't know, but it does hook into his hand here. So that is cool. I'm going to show you Mickey up close first. Look at this outfit. How cool is this? Lots and lots of detail. He's got this epic cape on. Yes, just yes on all of this. Okay. 
So he has a 360 degree head turn, but do be careful because his head will actually spin right off, which is a little bit concerning for a McFarlane toy, but okay. He also has, it looks like a 360 degree turn in his shoulder, but not necessarily up down, which is really interesting. It looks like it should, but it's not quite moving well. Here we go. You have to get it at just the right angle to get the up down, but there is a full ball joint in his shoulder. And then he has a twistable joint in his wrist. Unfortunately, this accessory does not stay in his hand very well. As you saw me spinning it earlier, it fell down when it went upside down there. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but oh well. He has a 360 degree turn in the waist just above where this ribbon is tied on his cape. And then that seems to be it on the joint. Wait, nope. He does have a spinnable joint in these feet, which is kind of funny. All right, that's it on his joints. The cape is super flexible here. It's made of this silicone type material, but it also, I think, might help him stand. No, nope, he actually stands on the robe and his feet. So the back of his robe helps him stand up and his toes here. They're really interesting, but he stands a lot better than I was expecting him to. It was not a struggle, definitely not going to be an issue for any of the younger kids. So I like that very much. I was kind of expecting more articulation on these since they are McFarlane, but Oh well, um, I still really love these designs and there's still a decent amount of articulation. So I, I'm definitely still happy with them. I'll still purchase them. I'm just a little bit surprised to be honest. All right, so this is cool. It looks like his boomerang actually goes in the, his backpack thing here and doesn't fit. Okay, well, what? a little bit, okay. You have to really push it in there, but there's how you do the boomerang thing. All right, so I'm gonna show you Goofy up close. Super cool, guys. And then I'll show you his boomerang up close, too. This is actually textured and multicolored. It looks very mechanical here. Like the whole thing will fold up somehow or something. I don't really know yet. Okay. We have... Oh, we've got a full ball joint in the neck of this Goofy. So up and down and all the way around. So that's really nice. Then we've got full ball joint in his shoulder. This one's much more jointed. We've got the joint in his elbow, a spinning joint in the middle of his arm, which is a little bit odd, but I guess that makes up for the lack of wrist joint, and he can't have the wrist joint because he has this armor here. So he does actually have the wrist joint on the other side. Interesting. Okay. And then he's got... Oh, this whole piece comes off, by the way. I didn't mean to do that. But he's got a full 360 degree spin at the waist. Looks like nothing in the knees, unfortunately. But, well, this is sort of knee. This is a little bit below knee. I think his knees are right here. So, I don't know, lower leg spin. Which is always kind of an odd joint for them to have. But I always like the extra joints. So, I am down for that. This is actually a piece of a scarf, it looks like, that's hanging down. That's cool. And you can put his little boomerang piece on. I like his helmet. He's got little pieces of bits of armor, but not a whole ton of armor. And it still looks pretty mismatched and interesting. But that fits Goofy's personality, so I'm okay with that. These, uh, like the Sully one, also have a lot of yellow in them. I really do like how much the yellow pops for this. I would have appreciated purple with the magician-type Mickey, I think, but... I often associate purple with wizards. I think that's a pretty common color to put with him. So maybe they wanted to do something a little bit different. And it definitely does pop really nicely and you can put the gold in it. I mean, they definitely look really good. I'm not a huge fan of yellow per se, but I'm not against it either. So I'm okay with this. I don't know if all of the characters are going to sport these yellow type colors or if I just happen to open the three that are very yellow right now. So that's kind of interesting, but I like this weird... Thing he comes with I don't I really don't know what it is but I think it looks cool and I like that there's extra detail so on this piece it's not an all solid color piece we've got extra detail as far as the mold and as far as extra painted detail the same thing on his boomerang it's not all brown it's also got all these little metal details and things on it so they really went all out on these figures and I'm impressed I like them they seem a little bit short 
but I think some of the characters are going to be taller than other characters. I assume they'll all be sort of in this scale together, so I would guess between five and seven inches are going to be all of these characters' sizes, and I'm really excited to see what they do with it. Mickey is a pretty short character to begin with. I would think Goofy would be a lot taller, but I guess technically he kind of is because Mickey's head ends about here. It's just he's got this tall hat on, so it's not too bad on scale. I'm I'm a pretty big fan. I think it would have been neat if we had some ankle joints on uh, on Goofy. I think ankle joints on Mickey would have been a bad idea. Well, as far as bending ankle joints on Mickey, because then he wouldn't stand as well. But I think this is cool how they made him stand, where it still looks like he's floating with his cape. I just that's so cool. I'm very I'm very impressed. A lot of actual thought went into this design, and I appreciate that because there's so many these days that just don't have that is the nicest way I can put that. All right, well, let me know what you guys think of these two Mirrorverse characters down in the comments below. Uh, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, Mickey is a support character and Goofy is ranged. Ah, because he's got the boomerang, so he can attack from a distance and Mickey can heal people. So I forgot to tell you about that. All right, let me know what you guys thought of these characters down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you don't want to miss out on the rest of the Mirrorverse series and other different toy reviews and toy mods and things that I will post, please do click that red subscribe button down below as well. It'll really help us out and is totally free for you guys to do. Uh, other than that, click the thumbs up to leave a like so we know what kind of content you guys are enjoying and can post more like it. And then go check out my channel. I've got plenty of other tour reviews and other fun things on there for you guys. And I am posting more every week, usually several times a week. So until next time, have a great time playing. Bye.